Hey, how's it going, everyone? Thanks for watching today. I, uh, as you can see in the little clip there, I just got everything finished and it's installed and the machine's working beautifully. And so the new controller's working out great. I went through CNC Drive, used their UC100, and that was an awesome controller. I loved how smooth it ran. It interfaced with Mach 3 beautifully. Everything worked great. Um, otherwise, I went through CNC for PC.com to use their generic parallel port controller card and that's the breakout board for the stepper motor drivers so that's two places that you can you can actually source both both of those parts from cnc for pccom uh, a lot of times if you're on the Amazon's website you can see who the seller is and go directly to them and you'll have a much better shot of getting your parts I'm sure but just again in these times it's it's difficult so I'm gonna snap in a little picture of the controller and then I'm gonna run the footage from um, some of the work I did getting the indexing head set up and then uh, run the complete clip there at the end I've got the new indexing head mounted up and I just used the regular mounting kit that you'd usually get with the mill um, I guess this one didn't come with one I grabbed off of my shelf but your standard hold down kit um, I used some aluminum plate back here just to kind of lift up the back side of the clamps and then clamped it down with one in the back here and these bolts are in the way so it's holding the back side and then I used my dial indicator just to make sure that it was nice and straight in there I've gone ahead and already moved removed the uh, the back plate and this little dividing head or locking plate here, dividing plate. Now this is a little, a little lock that locks onto that dividing plate. And without that dividing plate in there, um, this little gear can walk around. So you really want to keep it in there. The easiest thing to do, um, if you didn't want to grind off every single one of these knobs, is to just take the lock out um, and that's I'm just gonna unscrew from down here and I already freed that up a little spring drops out then you've got a little set screw here now if you didn't want to part with those parts you wanted to keep them in here you can actually adjust this lock um, so right there, that's the the lock for it. It's usually spring loaded. You just once you got the set screw out, you can kind of pull that out of the way, shove the lock back in there, and push that back in. Now it doesn't actually engage enough to be able to uh, lock into there, but I'm gonna take it out. Um, there's no reason for the extra weight weight in here. I can just put it in the toolbox with the rest of the stuff. And so there you can see all those pieces parts. I am gonna go ahead, put that cap back in. I'll probably end up putting uh, some Teflon tape or something on there just to keep it from wanting to rattle out. Um, and I am gonna put the handle back in as well as the set screw. And this is just gonna keep metal chips and anything else from being able to fly in there, um, keep things from getting messy. So we'll get that. All right, that handle's back in. It'll just dangle on the machine when it's cutting, but that's uh, the first step. I'm just getting the the lock plate. I'm gonna bolt that back up. That's what these six bolts were for. And then those three little tiny ones that held the back plate on. That again just keeps everything clean back there. You don't want metal or anything else kind of jamming up the uh, the worm in there. That's what makes the whole thing spin. Because we're gonna shaft our stepper motor to that um, once we get all this stuff out of the way. And that's what's going to drive it. So I'm going to get to uh, remove, getting the dividing plate back on, getting the back cover back on, and then start taking this apart. All 
Alright, so first off, I'm just going to take this uh, center bolt out here. Get rid of this hand wheel. And then there's the shaft we need to connect the uh, stepper motor to. Uh, one thing we won't need anymore is this guy, and he's got to come off just because he kind of sticks out a little bit further than this flange. And this flange is what we're going to mount the, the back plate for the motor mount to. So it has three drilled and tapped holes in it already. And so what I'll do is I'll, I'll take a piece of aluminum and basically drill out for the center hub and then put a three bolt circle or a, yeah, three hole circle on there and mount my plate up to that and then it'll have the four bolts for the uh, motor mount pattern. So I used to use my dial calipers to draw a couple lines there in the center to find my center point. And then I'm just gonna take my center punch and uh, put a little divot there, drill my hole out, and that's gonna be to go around the center hub shaft. So at this point, you're going to want to make a jig that goes from these three I know the lighting's no good here. Um, I'll show you that. Sorry about the gaps in um, the assembly of that indexing head. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I'll get back to you on it. I know I haven't been getting the comments lately, um, the last month and a half, like since school started. It's It's been a little bit more difficult, and I haven't really uh, had a chance to go back and answer anyone's comments, but I'll be getting to that here as soon as possible. So if you do go back and look at some of my other videos on the CNC build, you will see the uh, the coupler and just the way I had originally done my old indexing head before building this new one. So if there's anything there that can help, um, I, I really dropped the ball. It's been a couple of hard drives. Um, I, I lost a hard drive and lost almost everything that I've done on YouTube so far. So... That was unfortunate, but I'll learn a little bit more about how to keep my storage uh, in better shape so that that doesn't happen again in the future. But thank you all again for watching. Um, thank you especially for sticking through to the end. I know that that's, uh, that's a big deal for me. I, I'm, I'm new to this YouTube thing. I'm new to editing videos, and I'm not an entertainer. So um, thanks again for watching, and I hope everyone stays safe out there. Have a great rest of your day.